welcome to series 13 winter festival playlist as usual i'm going to show you the forzaton and also the championships of this week so let's have a look at the forzaton and the forzaton shop now as you can see there is the fiat dino and also the ford fox body we have uh, the patrol outfit a pink biker and of course the super wheel spin and the normal wheel spins now let's have a look at the forzaton what do we need? We need to own and drive a retro sports car. We need to earn 9 stars in total of drift zones. We need to win a road series, a road racing series event and 250,000 skill points. So, retro sport car. Let's have a look. I'm already in the car that I used, but I also tuned a few others. Now, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's have a look. There you go. So this is what I have in my garage. Now, for this week, I tuned a few cars. That would be like the Fair Lady. That's uh, a car that we can win also. They also, uh, I also tuned uh, the 2002 Nissan. And also the 240 SX 19. 93 now they're also rear wheel drive tunes this one also have a rear wheel drive tune i'm in the all-wheel drive at the moment uh, they are all tested and you can easily get the points so i'm using this one now i just stick to the uh, festival playlist here uh, to the festival drift now i kept the boat tunes to the original engine because i know it's uh, always nice to have the original engine on these drift cars but it's very easy to drift this car as you can see you don't need to do much and there you go so basically you can just go three times around this and then you have the first uh, the second forzaton now here we need to win a road racing series now that's you as usual the uh the blueprint the blueprint is located here at mud kickers you just take the anything goes if you can't find it just search for my gamer tag and you will find this one it's just driving straight you can stay in the drift car also then we need 250,000 skill score. Now I'll just go like I always do here at this one at the Greendale airstrip. You just keep the car in second gear also for the drift zone and you just have fun. And you just start drifting till you have 50,000 multiplier 5. Now I did put the perks on the car as you can see here. It's not really needed but you can put it on. The car goes to multiplier 5. Okay that's for the Forzaton. Now let's have a look at the trail. I did everything. Um, we had a lot of problems at the beginning with the convoy again, breaking up in playgrounds and stuff like that. So I hope they're really going to fix that this time. Now let's have a look at the trail. I'll put this off again. The trail is located uh, down here. We need an S1900 rally monster. Now... What can you win from that? You win the Volkswagen GRC Beetle. I will show you that in a minute. The car that I take for this one, I actually have two cars for that. I took the Ford Escort. Because that car you can just buy. But the Ford RS200 is also a good car. So if you do not have the rs200 you can take the ford escort if you have it then you can take this one it's a very good car very grippy so it's very easy to use now the car that we win from this event here 
is actually this one, the 2014 Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, let's go to the next one. Then we have playgrounds. I'll show you on the map and playgrounds is located here. So what do we need here? We need a 800 sports utility hero. Now, what's the car that I use for that? That's the Jaguar. And it's the F space S. Very good car, very grippy. So that was easy. Now, what do we win? We win the Porsche Cayenne from that playground. There you go. That's the car that you win from playgrounds. Now, what's next? The Winter Developer Championship. Now, for some reason, you can't do it in Convoy. I don't know if they locked it on purpose. I have no idea. Um, you need an Extreme Off-Road S900. Now, the car that I used for that... And where is it? It's here. It's the Bowler. Now, the event was very easy. The Dravatars are driving in a train, rubber banding, and they're very slow, so you can easily win that championship. Now, what do we win from that? We win this Honda Baya Trophy Truck. It's not a new car. Um, I just keep deleting cars to have space in my garage. But that's what we win from the F's championship. Now let's go to the grocery run. We need A800. Wait, it's here. Yeah, I don't know why it uh, goes on the playgrounds. Now we need an A800 Porsche Macan or Porsche Cayenne. Now I took the Cayenne because I find it uh, it's, it's a very good car and also very grippy. I took the 2012 Cayenne Turbo for that. Now, what can we win from that? We win this here. Where is he? There you go. The Macan Turbo 2019. Okay, let's go to the next one. Sheep as ships. That would be a base cost less than or equal to 25,000 credits in B700. Now, there are a lot of cars under that credit of 25,000. Now, the car that I used, I used it before, so I already had a tune for it. It's the Mazda. Where are you, Mazda? There you go. And that will be the Mazda. There you go, the 1994 Miata. Now, what can we win from this one? We win the Honda 2004 Civic. That's this one. Once it was very rare and, well, since the update of the auction house, nothing is rare anymore. Okay, let's go to the PR stunts. The PR stunts are not hard to do um there was one in the rail yard here so i'll just quickly go i used the uh, the model for everything it's my favorite car to do uh to do everything from the pr stunts well at least most of them There you go. So let's have a look quickly. There you see one flying. So here is the PR stunt that we need to do. You can just start from here at the railway and then. Just go a little bit to the right because um, there is a train standing there. You just 
point a little bit to the right. Well, that went bad, but there you go. But I use this car. As you know, I record my video in one time, and when I make a mistake, it's on the video. Now, here we have a speed zone. I started from this side here. I also used a muzzler for the fast acceleration, so it doesn't matter that corner, just brake on time. As you can see, don't worry about the speed in this corner. The muzzler will accelerate fast enough to actually get your PR stunt done. There you go. Now, what else do we have? Um, that was this one. And then here, this is also an easy one. You just start from this side here. I put the car in 4th gear and I just go for it, or 5th gear I think it was, yeah 5th gear and there you go. So that's about it, about the PR stunts, um, this season is towards last season uh, pretty easy, but that's something good. Now what can we win at 50% and 80%, I'll show you the cars quickly. Let's see. This is the car that we can win. New car. No, I'll just take it out. That's a car that we can win from 50% this season. And a pretty cool car. It's a good uh, drift car also. And the other car is the Porsche. 1995 Porsche and it's this one I'll take one here so this this is the one that you win at 80% there you go I covered everything uh, the, everything is uh, pretty easy this week besides the problems with the convoy again and also do not update your video card to the latest driver if you are on PC because it completely messed up everything. I had like very low FPS, very much lag, crashes, everything. So do not update your NVIDIA driver this week. Okay, that's it. I hope my video helped and I'll be back on Saturday for a live stream and also during the week I'll be streaming on Twitch also, for example, the Division 2, uh, GTA, well, you will see me streaming uh, during the week there, so it would be nice if you would support me there also. And I want to thank everyone, I, had, I have uh, 3000 subscribers now, I really appreciate it for all the people that keep supporting me, so thank you for that, I really appreciate it, and I hope I can let the community and RDTM grow even more and so we have fun together. Okay, that's it. I'll catch you on Saturday for the live stream. Bye bye.